uh, it's me again but uh, this video is for a beginner uh, so um, uh, we start at the beginning uh, it's the guide for anyone who hasn't touched the Final Fantasy Mobius yet so just give them a quick guide because to me when I start begin to play it I have no ideas and I try attempt fail and try again so uh, hopefully uh, this will somehow help you guys to save time okay so I just fast forward the prologue um, okay so start the tutorial um, so first it's just hitting so the screen here you just tap the finger when you hit yeah see you just tap it then they will do one tap in one attack with the sword you have you see um, okay so the enemy will be by default chosen by uh, the, the computer but then if you want to um, change the view then target view okay put on target view so from this first fire you see the little red dot here you point your finger into this one so you change the target one change you fresh the target view to come back to the normal view again so you, you tap again okay so now you see the little uh, round ops in the bar here so every time you tap one up will uh, appear every time you attack so what the up here going to do okay this is for you to use the card here you see the card yeah uh, that called the ab ability ability okay it's like your magic uh, your skill so uh, its ability will have a number of ops that required to execute the ability so this here you see four uh, yellow four yellow okay one two three four the the square one so it take it cost four ops to use the ability okay okay so I use it then on the bar it's gone Okay, so because now no more uh, op for for us to use the BT, you we have to attack it with the sword to basically to generate uh yeah to generate more ops. So the ops here will be randomly randomly generating. So randomly mean uh because Mobius Final Fantasy will have different job uh with carry three elements at the moment three elements which mean three kinds of ops are uh, in four ops so, okay totally now we have four ops that the uh, jobs can uh, creating and the fifth op is the plasmatic op but uh, now is the beginning so we just know four ops is the water fire um, earth and wind and uh, each job can only generate three out of four so you see the the here the um, here I put the finger here see three ops that he can generating is fire red yellow for earth and um, blue for water okay so now you put a finger here is the five you okay, get five little square so use this PT okay that inflict the greater damage than you use the sword to attack it physically um, so here is the, the the table for the weakness and um, resistance okay so increase damage mean fire and water opposite it will increase the damage wind and earth the opposite it increase the damage but then the same element if you hit the same ability element to the, the uh, enemy with the same element it will reduce the damage so it depends on the resistance of the enemy the 
reduce the half of the mouth or one third of the mouth or two thirds of the mouth. Okay. Um, so basically, is that then next? Okay. So if you are running out of ops, then you have to to attack physically by tapping to the screen to generating uh, uh, the little ops here. You can see if you tap three times, multiple times, uh, instead of uh, creating three ops, it's creating now six ops. Okay, so uh, it's uh, continuously you should like one, two, three to generating the most ops that you use. Okay, because not even enough ops for any ability yet. So the ability here is has not uh, pop up from the side window. Um, Okay, now with the same, you see, uh, if I use the same ABT on the enemy, it will resist it. Okay, you see it resist it there. Uh, it still inflict damage, but uh, as not as good as the uh, uh, witness element. We see opposite, fire and water, earth and wind. Okay, so now earth we have uh, we can do the up hush here okay so uh, we, we now uh, we change into the breaking so what is breaking breaking you see uh, for the enemy he has two bar the green bar and the orange yellow uh, bar so um, when it's still the yellow orange bar here is still have it uh, they, they still full uh, when you inflict damage to the enemy, it's not as good as uh, he is in breaking phase. So how to put him in break phase? First, I had to change the uh, yellow guard into, uh, sorry, the orange guard into the red guard. Okay, see, now it changed to red, reducing enemy break guards. Okay, so now, how to, now it changed to red. My task is to uh, depleting the red guard by attacking it. Yeah, just tap attack it. Yeah, when it's gone, then only left the uh, green guard, but it will last for only three turns. Okay, so uh, here in Mobius Final Fantasy, we have turns and action. Uh, depends on how advanced the, uh, your job uh, for, for the beginning. For one turn, I have three actions, so I have two actions left. You see here? Okay. Okay, one action. Okay, then finish it very fast, faster than the, we just do it without breaking it first. So, most importantly, try to break the enemy. Okay, now breaking. Breaking is you can use not necessarily the witness element for now. For just now, I just use earth and fire. As long as it's not the resistant uh, element, then it's fine. It will depleting the yellow gauze, leaving the red gauze. When there you see the red gauze, then you just deleting it with uh, physical attacking. Okay, now you see the break, and it had three turns, and you have one action left. So, meaning you will use the witness element to inflict the most damage to him okay so 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 far we are uh, knowing about elemental witness uh, ops and how to generating ops uh, breaking and um, how to uh, how to be in breaking phase okay we fast forward it uh, as you when you play it you will enjoy the story later on Okay, so every every turn, uh, as the Final Fantasy fan, you will know that you will gain experience. So this is the appearance of the player. So I gain some uh, experience, and experience of the player, and also your card. Your card is the ability card that uh, you use to uh, uh, inflict the damage for the enemy just now. 
uh, we will have like uh, many many cars which we will go further later on what quite complex but uh, it's um, very strategic and fun so it will increase both the, uh, the experience of, of the player and the ex experience uh, of the car itself so uh, when the car in racing level it uh, will increase in your total uh, level of your deck the total level of your deck consisting four cars uh, and um, by adding them all will be uh, come uh, will come in the level of the, uh, the deck Okay, so that is opening one uh, elixir, uh, three elixirs. Elixir is the mana, yeah, to fill up the mana uh, because it's an uh, um, online game. So uh, every time you make a move, you have to cost your mana to to um, to do to move from point A to point B. For example, I want to move to this point to proceed the story. Okay, now we tap the card menu. They will uh, insert uh, something. Uh, deck. Deck is your. I I now just said consisting four cards because just now we put only three cards, so we have one card left. Okay, selecting the card. Uh, this is the only one that uh, we have. Okay, so um here you see. The table here is the point out that is the job name is Onion Knight, and the three ops he can generating is um, fire, water, and earth. XP is the health point, uh, you know, uh, for the role playing game, health point of the character. Attack is the physical, remember, physical, physical damage that you use the sword to inflicting damage to the enemy. The break, break power is the power that you can inflicting the yellow gauze and the red gauze. Yeah, to put the enemy into break phase. The magic, okay. The magic. So what different between magic and attack? Attack is physical with the sword, uh, but my, uh, but then magic is um, using a BT card is the magic one. Okay, so basically magic is more powerful than uh, than physical attack, but then physical attack helping to break the enemy. Okay, uh, critical chain, speed and defend, uh, we will talk later on, but uh, right now that is, you should know, but uh, not necessarily to um, know it, understand it right away, because it is quite a concept. Okay. Now we move to another point that cost us the stamina. Well, just that I call it mana, uh, but, it, but it is so called stamina. So this one cost two stamina and battles four, meaning uh, in this route we will have four battles. Okay, so each each battle uh, doesn't necessarily consisting one enemy. Uh, maybe it consisting or uh, two or three or more of them. Uh, okay, but. Okay, so difficulty is if you are uh, increasing uh, it yellow is uh, medium difficulty and red is hard. So if the level is harder, then your experience multiplier will increasing. So for uh, medium hard, it will be one point five. It depends on the the, um, the state itself. Okay. Okay, so instead of four card we have, we can rent one other card from the um, from from our friend. Uh, later on, we will add uh, quite a lot of them. But now is the uh, from the um, instruction they will rent us this one called Fat Chocobo. Okay, so this one is not the element is not on any um, three element that we see so far but it has the hurt okay the hurt element okay the hurt is rarely uh, generating okay so it just have like a uh, five or ten percent uh, overall we can generating that 
hot ops. So it's only considered two, but the hot ops is usually for the support. Support cards. Support is what? Uh, support is either um, support you, meaning increasing your defense, increasing your XP, or um, cure your status, or even debuff, debuffing enemy, or uh, kill yourself for so is supporting. Yeah, usually it for recovery. Okay, so you use the up. So you see the the thing here, the shield. Yeah, so it's put the shield on you. So it last. So the number three here on the shield. It say it last three turns. So turns consisting of action. So three turns, and I have three actions. So meaning after nine actions, uh, the seal will be gone. Okay, so he's so weak and uh, not even necessary to inflicting magic, just physical damage and, uh, and he done. Okay, but the support card will have what called cool down. Okay, because if you continuously use this, it you you just win the battle easily, right? So it's had a kunda which is six. So meaning after only six turns, then you can use it again. But uh, now cannot. So but now, if your XP is is very low, but uh, you want to heal and you have the hurt ops here, and uh, the support card is. It's still cooling down, so your only choice is drive it. Okay, so to drive it, to hold the circle here and then flick your finger into the heart ops. Okay, hold and flick it. Okay, so here, so it's not as good at using the support card, but somehow it uh, it can um, emergency healing. So that is the last choice. If you have no choice. Uh, no support card is still cooling down. You have to use it. You have to uh, drive that cone driving. Drive the hot ops. Okay, so we can drive the hot up by I just did just now, and we can also drive the elemental. Okay, element also can drive. Okay, so we have here the water ops. Because water with water will be resistant, so what the point of inflicting water to water enemy? So we drive it. Okay, we drive it will raise the resistance for us. Yeah, um, against the water element, meaning reduce damage inflicting by the enemy, water enemy. I mean, okay. So you see three turn and the water ops here. Okay, so it will last for three turns. Depending on how many the ops you drive, it will uh, reflect. Okay, reflecting uh, the number of turn. Okay, see the red. I will deplete it. Whenever I uh, get the red guard, I have to deplete it and put him in uh, breaking phase. It will be finish him faster by that way. So when you see uh, one uh, bigger enemy. Then you see the breaking phase is very important. Okay, drive. And then generating orbs. Okay, so you priority uh, the less um, the the uh, non non witness one just to deplete the yellow gods. And when you put him in uh, break phase, then you use the witness elemental to inflict damage to him. Okay. The instruction require um a lot, because it's a complex, complicated, uh, strategic role playing. So it take you a. Uh, quite a time to start but then when you get into it you will see it's really addictive uh, real fun um, real challenging cooperating fight and the the combination of uh, cost and moves are endless
Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we move on to the skill panel. Um, so the in uh, injury uh, experience for the player himself, they're not um, they're not significantly uh, increasing his stat, but rather than the skill panel will help us. Okay. So the skill panel is like opening the panel with the seat. Okay. So how to get a seat? The seat will be generating by the card itself. After a battle, you will uh, depends on the number of seat on the card. It will you will get that uh, seat multiplied with the difficulty that I just saw just now. Okay, so right now we have those number of seat, uh, and so we uh, we try to open the attack plus five with ten fires skill seat. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay. So here, uh, the, the here is the total number of seeds generating after the end of the battle. Okay. So after the end of the battle, we will have like a fire skill seed, four fire skill seed. Uh, four water skill seat, two wind skill seat, and four earth skill seat. Okay, so further we go the the panel, then we will have a chance to unlock the new job, unlock the new weapon, hence increasing uh, the start of the character and make him stronger, of course. Okay, back to the menu. Okay, proceed to a new area, stamina 2, battle 2. Okay, so just ran the car. It's just basic. So, um, remember when putting in the job, to put the car into the job, you have, you, you must put the matching elemental, so he can use the APT. For this one, he can only use fire, water, and earth. So if you put wind in in there, he will, he he is impossible for him to use any wind card. Okay, I will try to 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 use uh, any wind so to see if any wind card we can, I can rent. Okay, so see here the wind here it will have the uh, the point uh, the eclipse point here. Uh, seeing that um, it's like caution cannot use, uh, but I will just rent it and let you see. Uh, even we put in the deck by renting it, and he won't use it. He can't because he cannot generating the wind up. So, uh, uh, so by uh, by the result, he cannot use any uh, thing. Okay, so now we save a lot of time by having auto. So you just put on auto, he will do the the rest. So we are just enjoying the good life. So we just intervening uh, when the the battle is uh, getting tough. Okay, so we put auto. Auto we have two mode: attack mode and defend mode. So we put in defend. He will driving more than attacking. Okay, he will drive element more than uh, attacking element. So depends on the situation, on the XP uh, of the um, the character, and you see the situation will change to attacking or uh, defending mode. Okay, we got a new card. This is a useless card anyway. So after its battle, if that is the new player, it's not in your friend list, and you all have the thirty friend limited. Uh, asking if you want to follow him. No, I will priority following um, the one with support card. So I don't have to put support card in my deck. Okay, the gift for me is a BT ticket too. Okay, so now we should move further to how to purchase a BT from the shop. So, okay, so now we get three more jobs. Two more jobs. Okay, so right now uh, we will have uh, three, three class of job. Warrior. Ranger and 
maze. Okay, so we'll try to show you guys. Okay, so we go to the deck again. Okay, so slide through the band. No, so we have, uh, we have many deck that you can use. So the first deck, the warrior. So for the second deck, I might choose the maze. Okay, the maze. So it deck will have the increase or decrease start depends on the the um, character of um, of that job. Okay, so for this main job, you only can generating three ops. So now we don't see the earth op anymore, but replacing with the wind op. Okay, job and element. Okay, so they say that each job will have uh, three type of op. So for the ranger, we, we see the warrior already, right? So uh, the maze is water, fire, wind, and then the ranger is water, wind, and earth. So also, we put three cards here. Okay, so instead of the element, you can also see the uh, the icon on the bottom right hand side okay preferably you can use the different icons uh, as long as the the um, the it, it can generating the that kind of ops but putting the same uh, icon for the maze putting the icon maze up uh, icon maze uh, 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 card will help you to uh, increasing damage you don't have the the, the damage comp, uh, penalty but if you put in different uh, class car for example I put um, fire here it still can use but um, it will not as good at uh, putting the, 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 the matching see so if you put the matching icon chop types, so we have the magic bonus. So uh, you can see here uh, later. I will show you how penalty you, you have before uh, getting the wrong class card into the deck. Yeah, just go through this. Okay, so every time I rent the card, I prefer to rent the support card. So uh, four card in my deck uh, won't don't have any uh, support card so I can bring four attack card and then rent another support card so now doing uh, ultimate ultimate when the ghost here uh, the seven color very uh, colorful guard is full okay it asks us to fill up the guard so it's flashing then now you can use the ultimate also, light driving ops, you put into the finger here and flick into the yellow thing here. Okay, it will do the ultimate. Ultimate is the uh, strongest damage by um, that job or that class. Okay, now uh, you see fire, you try fire. Okay, try also making uh, increasing and fill up the ultimate goals. Boom. So So we try to break in him. So you see the maze he breaking very slow. But his magic damage is stronger. So disadvantages and advantages. So by now, I think it's the end of the introduction. Ah, we have the card fusing. The card fusing is, is, is the what complicated for you guys um, at the beginning. But you get more and more complicated things ahead. But stay tuned. You will be surprised by how, how further you can proceed. I'm kind of sleepy. Uh, don't talk so much. Let me finish it. So now we have someone ticket too. 
Um, so now we change into the um, money system of the game and how you should wisely spend as a free to play player. Okay, now fusing card. So the purpose of fusing is making your ability hence uh, the card hence your ability stronger, inflicting more damage. Okay, so here is a card level, level one. Level one ability max is level eight and the skill sheet. The skill sheet is what we need to opening panel uh, as you remember previously. So we have to make the skill sheet max priority it. Priority it. make it your most important thing every time you uh, want to use a card. Try to make it max or at least four or five over six level. Okay, so let's uh, flame swirl is the name of the ability. So the max level is two. So to max so to make things there is three. Max the um it can increasing level of the card itself, increasing the skill sheet created by the card and then increasing the ability. So the skill sheet again for uh, opening panel the ability uh, ability level is increasing damage uh, the level of the card itself to increase the XP of the character increasing the deck level overall so when fusing with a card it will have three indicating figure first is the experience it will gain from eating or fusing that card second is the percentage or possibility of increasing one level of skill sheet the same thing with the third field is the change or the possibility of increasing one level of um, the ability okay so by selecting this card you will gain 50 in experience point to the card 100% increasing <coughs> the skill sheet so you see now uh, the seat unlock will be 1 over 4 if you because we have 100% and the ability level uh, from 2 over 2 but only 50% so we have uh, the possibility of not increasing the ability level so let's fuse it Okay, so skill sheet increasing and ability also luckily. But important rules is you want to always 100% uh, on skill sheet and ability level. Okay, but prior, um, priority if you don't have any uh, card that matching um, the ability, just increasing, just max the skill sheet itself is good enough for the beginner okay summoning summoning card so the card that we have on on the way of the battle is not worth using but rather we summon it from the summon card but we have two kind of ticket to get the summon uh, summon ticket and a PT ticket summon ticket is so you see many banner here okay so now we use the ability three star summon. So all the card will be having the star calling rarity of the card. So a uh, rarity of the card will have different level of ability, different skill seed generating, and different passive and active ability, and different uh, on the level itself as well. So now we summon the three. So by costing uh, two summon ticket, we can get one three star. So just now is the one that we we try to fusing just now. It just want only one star. It suck. 
so to see more info we click the card can we choose the month ticket we summon one three star with max everything max so uh, level max 16 over 16 ability max level 6 over level 6 and here is the, the skill sheet but the words is covering it but also it's maxed okay here is the auto abilities that the car from dropping don't have it but auto abilities by equipping the car it will increasing uh, depending on the stuff here here if you in uh, equip it cost it will increasing XP by 3% of the total amount of your character having okay so to, to buy it you go to the shop you can have a summon cost buying or you just go trade to a beauty shop item shop in other things but uh, just forget it for now so magicide is still so what is magicide still so every day or every 16 hours this this part will fill up uh, with magicide is the currency of the game so you have to collect it uh, as long as it's going to be full or it's full or else it, it won't run anywhere else so for the magicide uh it has that 500 magicide checking for one summon summon card uh summon ticket sorry uh so uh buy one thousand magicide it take you like uh six or seven days just to get that card just now so don't waste it so so menu you to first profile so now you put the card for the other player to rent it every time they rent you will have the friend card uh, you will have the friend ticket which later on I will explain the use of it but uh, don't don't put anything stuck there and uh, that just later on we put another things so now because of the Christmas event uh, so I will receive a gift of login bonus so this is calling the Mobius gift box so for for us the uh, before the for this Christmas event we have to buy this box with the price of 3000 make it side so meaning every month we can only buy one and it's only after 30 days then we can uh, we buy the another mobile box but what's especially uh, what's special about this box okay so this box with 3000 make it side uh, equivalent to six summon ticket right 500 for one summon ticket but we get some additional thing which is very good okay so this is the news of the game so we just go through it so to claim uh, to claim the gift go to the gift box so make it side you will get the metal capture four star two of them uh, mystic tablet three so those three thing you will receive four times a month uh, for purchasing the Mobius gift box so the metal capture for increasing the experience level of the card and uh, okay except from that we receive five crystal the crystal itself is um, to opening the panel to after it's finished panel you have to use the crystal to opening the total uh, panel we have now we have eighth eighth panel for each job okay um, so each panel will uh, consist in many little square uh, pots you see from the previous instruction and five elixir so now just don't use it because this one will become very important when you are in reach your level and those uh, later on chapter will consume a lot of stamina to go finish now and you if you're a fan of final fantasy you know it yeah you definitely it to revive your character and um next is the mock amulet this one we'll explain later but um 
it increases the chance of fusing. So for, for example, it's uh, increasing, uh, I think, 25%. So instead of uh, 50% just now for a PT, I will increase uh, the change, the possibility to 80% when fusing a PT. Okay, I change uh, to complicated play later, I'll explain it. Spirit ticket to Patrick, the spirit, it's just decoration flying figure uh, with you. Okay, roadster. Okay, so the point of this game is the roadster. The roadster is to transform the three star rarity card into four star. Okay, that is the only way, and you have to buy it with Magicide. We see 1500 Magicide for one roadster. And to draw one card, you need two roadster. But now with the Mo Mobius gift box, gift box, you get it at uh, an additional gift and six summon ticket. Okay, good deal. Okay, then those are the Facebook and login event. It's not the, the it's not the mobile itself. So claim on. So you should open an account in the Christmas uh, event because or else you have to wait like twenty days to purchase this gift box. Okay, so that's it for the first guide uh, instruction. Uh, it's quite lengthy, so I, I will divide it into part. Uh, but next is about the summoning job. So whenever you have the six uh, summon ticket, don't spend on, on the three star um, card just now, but spend on job. Okay, so you go to shop because the job we are having now is very basic and not worth at all to, to, to spend the skill set to improve it. Rather, we put a job. Also, go to summon card. Okay. Summon card. Job summon. Okay. So, see the information here. Why we do the job summon? Because the job that no duplication no duplication is what we want because um, when we spend the ticket on pulling that job next time you pull another job uh, it won't be duplicated that job again so we, I will explain the job uh, later on but now we just try to pull our first job so we have a total of seven summon ticket so it costs six summon tickets to, to pull one job quite uh, costly but it's worth it's the first thing ever you had to do because the 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 advanced job that from the bullying it way way stronger than the basic job you get from the tutorial now oh my god Jagoon Jagoon is um to discontent is the fish like the most powerful, uh, not the mass, but he can generating the fifth uh, ops with a, the prismatic ops. That ops is when he doing the ultimate, he will make the ops, which means you can use whatever element you want. Okay, that is the end of today uh, instruction. See you guys for the, the second part when we uh, go to an, the, the detail and more advanced things so just stop it for today okay thank you for watching have a nice day